With the 24th pick of the 2021 MLB Draft, the Atlanta Braves select Ryan Cusick, a right-handed pitcher from Wake Forest. The Oakland Athletics have the next pick. Great moment for Ryan Cusick here in the house tonight. The Wake Forest, like, it seems redundant to say big guy, but he's huge. He's 6'6 and weighs 235. Like, we have a great basketball team if we needed one from these guys. Yeah, in this room. Yeah. My goodness. Fastball, curveball guy, terrific power out of Wake Forest. He was a prep kid who wanted to go to college instead of going to the majors out of high school. See the high school ref. Yvonne Old Farms now. Yeah, I'm aware. You, you know that, Joy. I know that. Uh, it's fastball first. And it is fastball that's been as high as 101, 102, 102 this year. Yeah. I mean, it, it's fastball first. And I think the question is, what else comes with it for Cusick? And is there any way that he can be a starter and not a reliever? I, I think when you look at him, the first thing probably says reliever. If you can figure out a way to make him a starter with that stuff, I, I would assume that's what the Braves are hoping for and thinking with this spot. Then you've got a guy that just from a pure fastball velocity standpoint plays as well as anybody that we'll see today. Yeah, I would say Gavin Williams, Ryan Cusick, Jack Leiter. Those are the three best yeah. fastballs in this track. Sam Bachman's up there for velocity, but not necessarily. We're seeing fastball top of the zone that will play. Cusick's there with a 70, maybe 80 fastball if you put him in relief. Yeah. The curveball is a low spin. It's not exactly what you want to see, but it plays above average. I think there's a way to get more strikes, maybe learn a cutter. The changeup's not quite there. There's a way to make this into a starter, but I think it's more of a multi-inning guy that can figure out a way to give you something and work off of that fastball, which is a real killer. Yeah, and if, I mean, if you're going to start with anything, you'd, you'd like to start with this. I mean, if you're a fastball that's 97 to 101, that's a, a pretty good spot. Kind of talked about the ability to elevate, and that's pretty much all we're going to show you. It's just. Take that fastball and let it go. And with this frame, if you can throw it from that slot and leave it in the spot, I mean, take a look at where most of these swing and misses are, where he's yeah. trying to go. It is upper third, just up and out. So it's an understanding of it. That's that curveball, and I think that's the question right now is what comes with it. Yep. Yeah. If the curveball gets better, now we've got two. I mean, the fastball's already plus. If you can get something else that's plus, now we've got something really wor working with it. What, what are you smiling at me like that for? What are you going I, I just, to say? I just, saw uncle, I just saw him bring my uncle into the show right there, and his name's Charlie. That curveball was nasty. It'll show you, it'll show you flashes. Yeah, it's it not was as nasty. consistent as some, but it'll okay. show you flashes. And, and, and it'll work, but I, I'm telling you this. There's two things you don't teach. In hitting, it's bat speed, and in pitching, it's arm speed. This kid has the arm speed, and when you have 101.7 already registered in there, that's one of the reasons I was really high on Wake early in the season. They had him and they had Antonio Menendez until he got hurt with Tommy John. Those two guys I thought were going to carry Wake into deep into a postseason. Instead, Menendez gets hurt. This kid right here just took off.